welcome friends in this video i am going to explain or brief about the basics of probability theory here first we i would like to define what is a random experiment that experiment or a trial the experiment or trial when you performed repeatedly is giving different results are known as random experiment that is very simple example common example is whenever you toss a single coin single coin every time we are getting a, a outcome we are not expect we are not expecting whether it is we are getting a head or a tail or whenever you roll a die six outcomes you you may get but we are not expecting that that's why that is known as we are doing experiment okay uh, like that uh, drawing a card from a deck all these are examples for random experiment in random after random experiment sample space a set consisting of all possible outcomes of a random experiment is called as a sample space whenever you are doing any experiment some possible outcomes will be there that is whenever a single coin is tossed at that time your possible outcomes are you may get head or tail this set is known as a sample space or whenever you toss a two coins two coins then the possible outcomes are head head first coin and second coin both may get head head or first coin may get head second coin may get tail like that first coin may get tail second coin may get head or both the coins may get tail this is our possible outcome or whenever a single die is rolled okay the dots the facing up are 1 number 1 2 3 4 5 6 these outcomes may come the set of all possible outcomes whenever you are doing a random experiment that is known as a sample space or another example whenever two dice are rolled at a time okay then we may get first may get one second also may get one first may get one two one three like that up to one six we may get then two one two two like that two six you may get similarly what you may get three one four one five one six one like that up to six six total thirty six outcomes you may get this set together is known as a sample space okay after sample space i would like to define the an event an event is a subset of this sample space subset of this sample space for particular condition i will define one event on the sample space s yes, whenever a coin is tossed event i will define it as getting a head that is condition i am putting as a getting head therefore that is nothing but a single head you make it or whenever you two coins are tossed i will define event as getting at least one head at least one head then that set will become head 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 tail tail head this is a subspace subset of this therefore event is nothing but a subset of sample space using a particular condition 
or in this event i will make it as a odd number that is 1 3 5 this way like that some may i make it less than 2 like any condition you can make that is a nothing but your particular event okay or a happening number of possible happenings of a particular condition are known as a event okay like that in that event exhaustive event i will define an event consisting of all various possibilities is known as exhaustive events okay if that event is also with a set of same sample space then that is known as a exhaustive event like that mutually exclusive event there is two or more events are said to be mutually exclusive if happening of one event prevents the simultaneous happening of the other okay in a single toss of a coin i have defined one event e1 i will call it as getting a one head e2 i will define it as tail therefore e1 and e2 are not depending on each other the happening of e1 and happening of e2 preventing the happening of each other therefore they are known as mutually exclusive or one more definition i can make if e1 and e2 are mutually exclusive intersection of the two sets here e1 intersection e2 is a null set then we say that e1 and e2 are mutually exclusive events okay here uh, e1 in the second example that is whenever two coins are tossed e1 i will make it as a, at least one head and e2 i will make it as a, at least one tail at least one tail at that time this will become head tail tail head tail tail but here for e1 and e2 there is a common thing head tail tail head is common therefore e1 and e2 are not mutually exclusive here they are not mutually exclusive there should not be common between two such events are known as a not mutually exclusive in the second third case example if whenever a die is rolled e1 i will make it as an odd number e2 i will make it as an even number that is 2 4 6 therefore e1 and e2 are mutually exclusive events here they are not depending on each other okay such events are known as mutually exclusive then like that independent events if the happening or non happening of one event does not depend upon does not depend upon the happening or non happening of the other then those events are said to be independent okay e1 and e2 are independent okay such events are known as independent events like that like that let me define now probability of an event if cardinality of s that is the sample space order of an s is equal to n is the cardinality of a sample space s yes, for random experiment and o order of e is equal to m is the cardinality of an event e of a random experiment then the probability of an event e is defined by a real number probability of e is equal to order of e divided by order of s that is nothing but m by n say so here s is nothing but uh, whenever single coin is tossed s is nothing but head tail therefore order of s therefore order of s is equal to 2 whenever a single coin is tossed order of s is equal to 2 and getting head e1 i have made therefore order of e1 is equal to getting a tail getting a head that is 1 therefore 1 therefore probability of this e1 is equal to 1 divided by order of e1 
divided by order of s that is equal to 1 by 2. Similarly, order of E2 is tail, only single wave. Therefore, that is also 1 by 2. E2 is also 1 by 2. Like that, whenever uh, two coins are tossed, whenever uh, two coins are tossed, order of this, yes, here total four possibilities are there. Order of S yes is equal to four. And even I have mentioned it as, even I have mentioned it at least one head. Therefore, the possible outcomes are three are here. Therefore, its order is three. Probability of getting this particular event at least one head is 3 divided by 4. This is the probability of getting at least one head or at least one head. Okay. Like that here odd is also 3 by 2, 3 by 6, 3 by 6 is also 1 by 2. This is how to define the probability of an event. Now some note on this I would like to discuss here. Usually probability of happening of an event is denoted by small p or we call it as a probability of success. Okay. Happening if I define as a success then then probability of happening p small p it is denoted by m by n. Therefore non-happening of an event will become e bar then order of e bar is equal to we know that order of s minus order of e that is n minus m and the probability of non happening of an event is denoted by usually it is denoted by q that is n minus m divided by n 1 minus therefore p q is equal to 1 minus p therefore p plus q is equal to 1 this thing i am going to use further in the next explanation okay one minute okay friends please subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more updates and please comments give the comments for updates thank you friends